and welcome back <laughs> to part two of episode 11, featuring, of course, Megan! Megan! Yay! Big M! If you haven't already watched part one, or if you are watching us on YouTube, nope, go do that. If you haven't watched part one, do that. And if you're on live on Twitch, hi! <laughs> you, we were just here. Uh, if you are just tuning in now, the party got into a fucking brawl. Oh my days. They <laughs> had confronted the Major Domo and his newly risen vampiric spawn, Griff the Undying, a Goliath vampire mix with some homebrew rammed in there. Um, they did a good job, you know, honestly. Everyone went down, everyone came back up. <sighs> Nobody's permanently, well, I mean, Almost everybody has lost maximum HP, but that's what you get for fighting the undead. <coughs> Sucks to suck. <laughs> that's pretty much all that happened. The Mr. Major Domo did indeed escape with his acquired object, thanks to the aid of Thorn. Um, uh, and they did manage to down Griff. Oh, we killed him. You did. Oh, we killed him. Oh, oh we killed him. Boy, did we get a level him. up like right now? And thus, oh. <laughs> we arrive. I've arrived. As the heat of the battle begins to slow. Stars, you turn to the rest of what this group is. You feel this heavy breathing on the back of your neck. There's a moment of uncomfort from but then you see that Griff is still, in fact, a pile of puddle and pus on the ground. As you slowly turn, you see this almost animalistic version of Thorn hunched over, almost representative of like some sort of like monstrous knoll covered in bark and vines. Kind of <sighs> and gets really close. This, be this better not awaken anything. Um, Hi, sweetie. This normal for you? <laughs> I'd like you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Okay. Um, 14. 14. You went down this fight, too. I did. Uh, There's a moment where, Thorn, you go out from the fight with Griff. And your vision it goes black. And then there's like a flash of a, like that same view before, that giant cerulean pink gem with that grasping hand. And then a flash, a few flashes, and then you're face to face with um, Star. Hi. <laughs> she starts to sh slowly shrink back down. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You know, it's been a while since I've seen anything like that, but no, it's okay, you're you're good, you're good. Does this happen a lot? Yes, um, sometimes. It's only when we're in battles and stuff, and sometimes when I have nightmares. Oh, my goodness. Uh, sorry. Hi, I'm, I'm Star. Hi, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. This happens all the time. It's, it's, it's okay. Okay. People say I'm cursed or whatever, it's fine. Oh, good. That's, we'll unpack that. Um, Thorn? Gillen? I think, I think we need to get Cal some help. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing so good either. I think I remember where the healing hut is. Do you want to go? Where's that go? Um. Hi. You know. Hi. Is she cool? I'm so cool. <sighs> you guys, also cool. You're very little and bruised. Are you okay? <laughs> you like look at me, and it's like the most grotesque, like <laughs> <laughs> very prepubescent child, like beaten up, like. I have this really weird relationship with my diet. <laughs> you know what, actually, yeah, that tracks. All right, um, I'm a star. 
Uh, do you know anywhere we can get some rest? I mean, I just came from the tea house, but if you need some help immediately, I can help. That like older gentleman kind of walks over and you can see like that tree is still kind of glistening over the view and it's starting to attract a crowd from the surrounding townsfolk as uh, little acorns and like those like twirly whirly things start to like <laughs> fall down over it. Uh, That's you exactly all, what they're called actually. Yeah, twirly yeah. whirlies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, you Sorry. all heal up 12 points. Ooh. Whoa. Oh boy. As you feel this like warmth fall over your bodies. We recovered those temporary hit points that were gone? No. Damn it. Is my, <laughs> am I still decaying? Yeah. Um, no. Whew. What it, what's this magic? Yeah, I'm not really feeling as strong as I usually would. Yeah. That bite hurt really bad. I feel like I'm like three levels behind again. <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely bananas. Um, who are those guys? Those um, are monsters. Follow me begins to turn and walk away. You can see uh, people start to rush up and a few members of the Yarba Druids, of which Master Taurus is the master of, not the Paderai, <coughs> whoever fucked that up last session, <laughs> it walks was over. Um, he looks at each of them. There's like three or four have gathered. He's like, <clears throat> tend to any wounded you find and uh, search the city for whatever else this creature was after. And they begin to disperse and like talk to some of the surrounding folk and... Do I remember like telling him about Madame Elin? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, he's chill. There's there's no enemy. The, 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 the bad guy was Griff. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's still my friend. Yeah, he's still a good friend of yours. So I wouldn't tell anyone that I told him about Madame Elin? Up to you. But we were <laughs> all there. Yeah. Uh, you you were all a distance away. Mm. Uh, you were all a distance away. Specifically, can, she was on her own. Can I go up to Master Taurus? Um, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> I may have told him that Madame Elin had what he was looking for. Reaches his staff out. Fuck! He <laughs> hits you on the top of the head. Oh, um, physical damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Emotional damage. Um, Don't do it. Emotional damage. <laughs> emotional. Fuck, fuck! <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> uh, Cal, you notice like he's, he's incanting as he hits her over the head, casting Dispel Magic. And then he casts it at a higher level the second time. <laughs> <laughs> ah. And you feel that like uh, intrusive presence dissipate. Wait, which one? <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the vampire. Um, it stops for a second. All right, I like tuck pee behind me. Guys, we should go to Madame Malin. Just my luck. Uh, Dalen, I suppose. I like step behind Cal. Yeah. He reaches out like a rickety old hand. Like it's... frailly grabs yours. Oh, it's so, so weak. <laughs> Master Yosef Dars. Oh. Uh, pleased that you got my message and have arrived. Opportunely so. Um. You've met Miss Star, I presume. Uh, Hi, you. Small world. She's a well renowned healer. You're lucky to have had her in this fight. Recover. I would request him um, come to my abode this evening. We must discuss the events of the day. Move! Move. And he starts to part the, the crowd as he walks by. Uh, where's Abture? Uh, he's like, he's like just passed out <laughs> on the ground. Still pipe in. in yeah, yeah, pipe in mouth. <laughs> Impressive. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna like kind of take. 
I'm I'm sure. Did we go? Well, something happened, but he, he had the ring. I, I think we should go check. Right. The ring. The, 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 the one that Madame Elin should have. <laughs> that sucks. All that. We, we should go find Madame Elin. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh fuck. Action dash. Oh boss. <laughs> <laughs> you guys start to make your way through the town, <laughs> heading back to Madame Elin's estate. Um, you see. Everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, I didn't know it. Why would I draw in your book? Star is like blindly following, worried about these children <laughs> running through the street. Yeah. Just like, like you said, seven two. You're seven foot tall. Yeah, yeah. For bogs, they're like super and tall. Your 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 limbs are taller than me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you said you run awkwardly. Like yeah, the she's posture's like, perfect, but you're like yeah. She's, she's like all limbs. And she yeah. just can't. <laughs> It's like a baby horse trying to learn how to walk. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it yeah. looks like. Yeah. Uh, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, yeah. left foot. Four <laughs> legs, four legs. She's like, why are we running? Uh, we have we have to go to um, Madame Malin's house. We gave her the ring that he left with. That doesn't sound good. No. Oh no. I understand. She picks up space. Thanks. Just like faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carry um, me. You guys make your way towards uh, Madame Aileen's house, but before you do, you see um, both Madame Aileen and Quentin, like on the ground, perched up against like the side of a building, and uh, an older dwarf man uh, over them, kind of seems to be tending to their wounds. Uh, he's got like a single grayish braid that runs down his back, uh, lar- like overly large oafish ears with uh, hair long enough to stick out and hang down out of his ears. Um, <clears throat> his nose looks like it's been bent in all the wrong ways and the swelling has never gone down. <laughs> and a beard and mustache that has like grown over to completely cover his mouth. So when he talks, he's going like this. Um, he's like hovering over um, Madame Lynn. You can see like from his hand, there are like, uh, you know, fern kind of leaves, like that like green powdery shit underneath the fern is like, he's like wiping it from his hand over their wounds. Um, Madame Lynn's still unconscious and Quentin's kind of leaned up against the uh, side of the building. You fucking, can I run over to Madame Aelin? Yeah. Okay, and then I'll just like let Quibble <laughs> run on to her. It's like, um, <laughs> Quib- it's okay, it's okay. Quibble, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, she gets, I think, two hit points back from that. All right. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Yeah, two hit points. Uh, <coughs> the ring, the ring. She just kind of like sits back down and slumps down. It's all right. Quentin chimes in saying, he got the jump on us. There was nothing I could have done. It's good to see you all still alive. Wait, where'd that go? So uh, we're not really sure where he went. Sit. Well, we thought he came to you. Well, let's hope he didn't get caught in the crossfire. Madame, Madame Eileen, can I sit down? Oh, I, I uh, you all look damn near as bad as I do. Come on. She puts a hand on the dwarf, lifts herself up, and he quickly gets underneath her. Uh, this is this is Dorto. He's a a dwarf, and like they, she like begins to hobble towards. Um, her small house. You Is guys, the building itself damaged? No. You get the sense like that they were met halfway through. 
Like you can see where they were perched up again. Like there was blood splatter along the road near where they were. Um, Quinton, both the two of them are, are like more than worse for wear. Mm. Um, We were on our way to helping you out, and Quentin saw whatever it was, and, but he caught us before we could get to you. <clears throat> God, I've got some herbs inside. That's herself inside. Um, you guys begin to like find places to attend to your wounds. Doral does go around and, and slowly over the course, if you are not already full, will heal you all to full. Um, if it wasn't for Dora, we wouldn't have made it, I think. Do you know who that thing is, was? He got uh, some sort of a dead. I assume I haven't encountered a vampire in years, not since before the war. Is it weird if I tell you it's not the first time we've met him? Yes. Back in my hometown at Liston, he was talking to the station leader, Ifri LaRoche. They were having some sort of meeting when we walked in, and they, they seemed to be friends. I mean, is that correct for me to say? I don't know, like, if we, you know, he, he helped us. He did. I've never been more confused in my life. The vampires, they are quite uh, charming creatures. Or else they got your friend as well. I'm sorry, I, I must uh, retreat to my bed. Mm. Glad to see you all, most of you, safe. If you find Nirko, send him my way so I can turn his arse. <laughs> she begins to make her way up the stairs, Doral kind of giving her a hand. I think the animals too, nudging her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fox is kind of like, she like goes to slip, and one of the foxes slips under her foot. Oh, it's so cute. Um, That's so cute. After kind of sits there for a second, it's like, it's like that sucks. I'm pretty strong, Nap. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It's probably my fault. I think the decision to fight was mine. <laughs> there was no way we could have prepared for that. We did. Nobody died. Yeah, so... we're all still here. And you, you. Hi. I'm Cal. Oh, God. I'm Star. Star, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this mask. <laughs> you see, as the current <laughs> caretaker and guardian of these children, I was horribly scarred in an accident. By but then? that was before I took care of these children. <gasps> uh, in order to not frighten these children, I wear this mask to protect them from my unsightly view. And I hope that you will accept the position of babysitter. I mean, caretaker. I mean, I hope you will continue to develop a friendship with us. Y yeah, I mean... He's quite handsome under the mask. That's... I... For you to know and me to not find out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Babysitter in my repertoire. And... <clears throat> Free of charge. I don't. I. Don't, I won't. You, these. He's you guys talking seem about nice. P and Quivel, by the way. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, don't I assumed. Really, I I'm don't the leader need a of the group. Yeah. I'm no, 17. I clocked that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you all seem very yes. capable. Um, yes. So. But I do that inside of me. Yes. From what I'm understand, y'all were robbed. Is that? Well, that seems she, problematic, but but like was. bad robbed because that was really, like really scary. Like, what did you guys have? It was a, a magical mm. item. Oh, okay. Like, 
good magic or like? Um, you know, Madame Awen seems to think it was good magic. Yeah. Seems very questionable to mm -hmm. me. Um, you know, in the wrong hands, I feel like it could be bad. Those do look like the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you, any any ideas as to who that was? You said you've seen him before. We have seen him before. Yeah, he was talking to Ifri Laroche who runs the school in Liston. Um, he's a teacher? I think he's the headmaster. Not that guy. He was oh. speaking to the headmaster. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. he's not like a staff. No, no, no. No, oh, okay. no. So they just let like winged men into the school? He didn't have wings at the time. <sighs> <laughs> he just looked like a fancy butler. I would let him into a school then, I understand. So this ring, that was stolen. Do you want it back? <clears throat> I think we should keep it out of their hands. I, yeah, I don't really know that we want it, but um, Madame Aylin seemed to think it was gonna help change the tide of like the war and the arguments between like the Yard and everybody. I think everybody. that's too much. Political ring, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'll just add that to my roster of things to think about and ponder. Um, <laughs> you, okay, babysitter, yes. Ring grabber, maybe. Political ring grabber? We'll cross the bridge when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Master, Taurus was inviting us tonight, right? We, we probably have like a, I think we can get like a short rest in, in yeah, that Yeah, Gilwin's being inducted. Inducted? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, young boy. To what? To be honest, I don't know. The note from Master Taurus said that Master Hazir and my parents signed off on me being inducted to the Flakara Order. Did you sign off? I actually didn't want to meet him. You didn't get any say? No. Well, what do you say? I think I need to sleep. <laughs> Understandable. Lots of rest for a young, growing boy. Let's, let's find somewhere for you to sleep. It's more for peace since I'm the leader. I just oh, have to make course. sure he can absolutely. sleep. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Asking for a friend, where's the nearest bed? <laughs> I was just, you can like... I just fall in the moss. That works, bro. <laughs> uh, you take your. He's already. At, wow, it's already just, it's just kids. Every, I like the light. It, kids will do that. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure, by the way. Hi, we've met. Oh, right, right. Uh, that's so embarrassing to laugh. <laughs> and your name is. Star. Star. It's Star. Yeah. yeah. Just so you guys know. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course, of course. Of course, yeah. Thank you, thank you for clarifying, I'm sure. No problem. Yeah. You um, a good friendship we're building. Aren't you guys still feeling, like, bad? I feel like I have. Yeah, I don't feel really good. Nope, me neither. I gotta take a minute, though, and have, have a short rest. Well, just, okay, in the street, all right. <laughs> Good start. Um, so you guys... Find I'll, yourself. Go ahead. I'll uh, cozy up to Quinton. Not cozy up to him, but just get <laughs> And in Nokian, ask, and what does the Oculo have on this creature? That's for them to know, and if they grace it, for me to find out. Ah, perfect. So, non communicative as always. Roll an insight check. Fourteen. As you're having this conversation with Quinton, he seems like a little distant, and his the words he's saying are what he means, but they're just coming out. He's very concentrated or or worried about something else. I am. Um, I should probably go. 
I uh, completed the mission, I guess, so, um, just goodbye. Where are you to report to next? That's, uh, secret information. But, uh, hopefully I come across you again. Like I said, you help me, I can help you. It's for the greater good. Just stay out of my way next time. Don't die. It's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too, one star. Uh, Quinton. Top secret, don't tell anybody that. <laughs> Yeah. You can't tell people that. <laughs> I was sleeping. <clears throat> Goodbye. He walks out briskly. Bye, Quentin. From Nokia. <laughs> Quickly hurries. He like <laughs> his fingers just disappears. Um, you can see him like. As, as he disappears, and then, like, in a few seconds, like, a couple is, like, walking down. They're like, oh. This guy still had spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you guys take a moment inside Madame Island's uh, quaint <clears throat> little home, <clears throat> um, finding moss water beds to uh, fall into. You guys may take an hour for Just a short rest. Cuddle up with. Oh, oh boy. Uh, Quibble? Oh yeah, I get all my spell slots back. Oh, <laughs> my wow. life's so hard. Your maximum HP does not reset. <clears throat> okay. So <laughs> someone sa someone said vampire, right? Uh, to us, like. Madam Island just. Madam Island just did, right? Okay. Oh, um, that was a very good question. Thank yeah, you for after, asking. And well, no, I just want to make sure. No, we. I always <laughs> forget if things are actually mentioned or not. So yeah, <laughs> that no was worries, a really no worries, solid. And I'm question. just gonna check my other slots. Um, long rest. Yeah, okay. Short rest. rest. No, my my special slots is a long rest. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um, <sighs> the hour goes by. Can I change short rest? Can I change my spells? Or is it only long rest? Long rest. Um, yes. The hour goes by. You guys are able to tend to what wounds you're given. Nap for some of you. Um, and mid-afternoon comes. Madame Eileen is still passed out in her bed and Doral left midway through, possibly to return to his post wherever he was before. Um, Absher's just zonked. What would you guys like to do? You guys have a, he said like tonight, so mm -hmm. you guys have a few hours at least before Master Taurus has, has asked for you. Can I go back to like the healer's temple? Yeah, the Lokul Nasri. Yeah. Yeah, you're just going along? Yeah. Right, I mean, I'll take whoever wants to go, but I was gonna go by myself. All right. Um... You can come with me. <laughs> Star like watches this child leave and goes, she's our own woman, she's our own woman, she's our own woman. She's our own woman. Don't, don't follow, don't follow, don't follow. And like slowly kind of Star, like, do you want to come? Oh my God, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going back to the, the healer's temple. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Let's go, <laughs> lead the way. Um, you guys find your way. You've actually been here once before. Um, back to the local nursery. It's the... Yeah, like the, the healing center in the labdanum quarter. Uh, it's currently more occupied than normal. It's fairly quiet, but as you guys step in, you see that same like overwhelming inhalation of incense. Um, as you guys walk in, there are people kind of sitting in semi-form of prayer, like head to the floor on their knees and others who are tending to wounded. There are a, a small handful in here. Um, being tended to. It's like a temple of sorts. Um, you guys walk in? Yeah. Can I look for the gentleman that I spoke to before? Yes. Fuck was his name. <laughs> I know, I don't have my notes in front of me that I forget. <laughs> there was Nani. Who? <laughs> Nani. Nani? First I don't know if that's the that's one. First name Pooh. We'll figure it out. Uh. <laughs> Num gentleman number two, yeah. old gentleman number two. Oh, I'm so honest to see you. Hi. Old man voice engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, um, so you we had look a. Like a mess. Yeah, I feel like a mess. So we had a battle with a vampire today, and I'm just wondering 
if there's anything I can do extra to feel better or, or help my friends feel better. <sighs> yeah, a vampire. Rule to believe? <laughs> um, I, I, no legends. Um, yeah, they, what seems to be ailing you, do you? Well, he like bit me and now I just don't feel very strong. Oh, right. All right, I've come to the, Jesus. <laughs> he like <laughs> grabs you by the wrist and just starts pulling you back to his like, uh, like chamber where he I had just grab star. <laughs> yeah, so he's just drag, and he pulls you into like a room filled with like ailments and jars filled with like different uh, liquids, like all sorts of drying herbs along the wall. Uh, he takes a few and like mashes them up in a little mortar and pestle, uh, mixes them into a, a jar, adds like a small liquid to it, and he kind of like, okay, um, makes more. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, this is um, a, a, a neuro tincture. It, 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 it won't make you feel better, but hopefully it will, will, will aid in, in the process. You just need lots of rest. Okay. Um, are you sure you're not feeling hungry? <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, like, for real food, not f for blood. People, okay. No, good, no, no. Good. If you do. Master Taurus already hit me on the head a couple times. I think I'm okay. Oh, okay, good, okay. Gee. Uh, and you, uh, he gives you like three files, is that enough? Um, yeah, can I get one more? Sure, yes. Actually, maybe two more. I can help you make it. You can just tell me the ingredients. I'll go find it. Oh, okay, I mean, I just have most of you and he kind of shows you in hand like what ingredients he uses. Um, <laughs> um, so we the take some like ingredient. vampire flatulence. Herbs. Herbs, yeah. And Assorted herbs. <laughs> Quibble, Quibble's and, writing this down. And everything Quibble's nice. writing this down? Okay, cool. He's holding a pen with no <laughs> arm. Yeah, he's just, trying to get on the book. It's, just a bunch it's of all written in like paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so three of these, there's three paw prints beside Yeah, it's in Sylvan, but in paw prints. Uh, Can I? Uh, oh, I need to learn Sylvan, seriously. It's like, it's like four ounces of copal, a quarter ounce of Google, some calamus root, uh, and some myrrh. Mixes yeah, it up with some sort of oil. In there. And then um, gives it to you. This shows you how to do it. Thank you. Of course. Um, you can add uh, herbed healing tincture to your Four of them. Five of them? How many did you want? Five. Five. Five, yeah. Five of them to your inventory. Perfect. Um, Those are my spells, not my inventory. And, and I will see you later for uh, the... My goodness. Lore, guys. Know your own lore. Gentlemen, start again. <laughs> Gentlemen number two's all. party. Uh, the Ingrigere. The who? The Ingrigere. It's... Um, did. Uh, <laughs> like, looks confused that you don't know, and he's like, <clears throat> yeah. I'm not actually a druid. Oh, uh, well. I mean, uh, I never went to school for it. Okay, that's fine, that's okay. And it takes you, like, out of the small chamber and, like, points to a few of the people who have their, their head down. Uh, it's, a, it's a short ritual that takes place uh, twice throughout the day. And every member of Terrespit society must adhere uh, a short uh, prayer thanking the land and hoping, wishing for its best protection. And then followed by an hour-long tending to uh, the city gardens to prepare for, for meals and whatnot, the vegetables, um, or other f form of, of, of care for the land. Um, it doesn't take more than an hour each time, tending to the natural world around you. It could be as simple as watering, watering plants, caring for animals, planting of seeds, anything to continue the natural cycle of life. Um, we, we, we ask for no money, no time, but simply to engage in the ingredients. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy to garden. Oh, of, of course, okay. Thanks. She's explaining Star is putting on her gardening gloves for, <laughs> for a while. She's just like getting ready. <laughs> getting ready for yeah. Over the gauntlets? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah, Thorne will like pull out her gloves and get ready, and then she'll go like pray with everyone else. What do you pray? Um, I don't know. I think she like prays for 
uh, kind of like the well-being of the planet and like the... She, she really does want like the things in Redaxis to like grow back because she thinks they're really like beautiful and things like that. Like she wants to see um, the forest like return. Mm. So I think that's what she's praying for. Beautiful. Do you do it out loud? Can Star hear you? Doing it? <laughs> She's like whispering it under her breath, and then I like have Quivel beside me, and we're like doing it together. <laughs> <laughs> it translates to Quivel's is wor world peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> world peace. And uh, blueberry pancakes. <laughs> um, beautiful. What are you guys doing in that Gardening. time? Gardening. Okay, so five herb creatures. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to look for. I understand that the Druid uh, community is an oral sharing and their oral uh, notes and its traditions are passed on through there, but there has to be somebody, somebody who's recording the people. So I'm going to look and ask around for anybody who's doing that or who's been doing that. Writing things down? Or just like general history or, or of, of the arcane, like, who has an interest in like arcane dru druidic like magic? I'm basically looking for <laughs> magical <laughs> ink and paper. Because <laughs> he's an still investigation <laughs> check. Oh, I need that. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, all right. All right. All right. Um, you take a little time, uh, kind of verse throughout the city, you talk to a couple of people and they're kind of like, they're God, they're sacrilegious. How would you offer that? Uh, and eventually you find your, uh, a like older kind of middle-aged fur bulk woman. Um, she's got like uh, three kind of big pom-pom, uh, um, what are they called? Like space buns, but like on the top of her head that go this way. Um, and she's like on the far Western side of the city. She's uh, sitting, on top of like a small little outpost outlook going looking into the forest and she's kind of leaning there she's like falling asleep half asleep and she's like uh kind of like startled her she's like, oh. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you oh, what are you looking for well i i was i I'm told that you, you I? have books and no. paper. No. Do you? You. I know. What? <laughs> I'm Cal. I'm sorry. I asked this is her name. I'm Mina. 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 It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. <gasps> yeah. We're, yeah. Uh, books? Books, no. paper. 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 Magical. I, I, of the arcade. Oh. Oh, I'm just picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. I'm picking it up. Okay, fuck you, you fall. Come on. <laughs> uh, she kind of like walks you through the city. She's like, "This is the part of the lab recording. You haven't been to this city before. It's quite nice. You look weird. I like your mask." Oh, uh, we just go. Let's just keep walking and walking. She just never stops <laughs> talking, kind of half muttering, not finishing anywhere. She's like, this way, you look kind of funny. You ever notice that? Does anybody ever tell you? you look <coughs> Nobody really cares. I look a little funny too, but. Uh huh. I have a nice friend. He's a, I got a pet named Cookie. He's very sweet. Do you have any pets? I like pets. Do you have any friends that have any pets? I like pets. Oh, uh, yeah. That's cool. I'm a very, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I, I have a good time. Like, when I was younger, it was really fun and exciting. I found this person that I've never really engaged in this much about that magical paper. We've seen it before. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'll pick it up. What you're putting down. Don't worry, go this way. She leads you through to the uh, Mer Quarter, back near the tea, uh, like the Loom Tea House. Um, and to like, there's like a small alleyway wedged in between two buildings and there's these like overlaying beads instead of like a doorway and a curtain behind them. And she's like, yeah, if you just go right through here, it's magical paper, she's got it's over there. Don't even worry, you just ask, you know, magical paper, she's probably charge you a little bit. Like, I mean, there's not really much charging in the city except for like asking, you know, you give this, I give that kind of thing. But if I'm you gonna just walk go, through. <laughs> <laughs> push past the beads and you're just like, like overwhelmed with like a, a scent of like skunk cabbage and peaches. Um, and you see like these like large kind of beanbag-esque chairs that are like leaned up the side of uh, the building. And then like an older, very old, like all wrinkle and cheek woman who's got like the top half of her hair in a top bun and the rest kind of like flowing down past like to where she's sitting. 
Um, she's got like a little nose ring in. Uh, she's got like all piercings in her ears, like really like random knickknacks. You see like a little anchor in her ear. You see like what looks like a paperclip in her ear. Um, she's kind of sitting there. She's got like tattoos all up from what you can see on her hands going into her like bell sleeves. She's kind of just... Hello. What are you looking for? Why do you come to Madame Palm Tree? Well, I was, I'm in search of some magical ink and paper first and foremost. Magical paper? Yes, to, to copy. Just the paper? And, and ink and... Okay. And what, fine. if you have any other magic? No, it's fine. Ugh, what else do you have? Fucking squares. She goes over and she grabs like this small, like wooden ornate oak box that's about this wide and flips it up. And you can, she's like holding it so it's flipped up towards you and see. And she kind of goes, Oh. Just, you sure you just wanted the paper? It's Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, fine then. Um, turns it around. And you can see that she's using like magical paper for. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, and there's like That's a amazing. thick solvent that could be used as ink or uh, a layer. The glue. Two. I yeah. cannot. The. 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 Uh, that's amazing. It's a waste of... This. I know, you, but you should be using it with the palm tree. That's the whole point, but... And you... Uh, Why else would you... What would you get write on magical paper? This is such a waste of paper. Do you... You understand that <laughs> magic is back, the arcane, yeah. and I'll start pulling out all my books. Yeah. <laughs> magic is back, all right. <laughs> so you're telling me you can... Can you use that to transfer spells? Come here, you kids nowadays. No, so you get really high if you <laughs> light this on fire, and it's marvelous. It, yes, but I'm c trying to cast marvelous spells. Sure, what's that gonna do to you? You still live here. See, For this now. will transcend. I'll tell you what, I'll take one of those and I'll take <laughs> the box. Just the one? No, you have, how many boxes do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you like see where she's like sitting, she's sitting on like one of those massive bean bags. Oh she kind of like lifts God. from underneath and pulls out one and it like drops her down a little bit. She's like, I got a few. You gotta be prepared. It's, 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 it's society here it helps a lot of the kids focus in town. It's, it's how they trade their druids with their. They're not training high. They're training low, and you, you, you just don't want students trading low. How they much for low a grades, box? Low grades, low high, high grades, high society. How much for a box? Of just paper. Of just paper yeah. and the solvent. A box, you can probably two hundred fifty gold. I'll be right. Back. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go to Gilwin. I'm gonna go to Gilwin and. Uh, can we fast travel? <laughs> yeah, 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 fast travel. Uh, hey, get Gilwin. Mm. Gilwin. Yeah. Mm. What's up? You are about to undergo one of the most important <laughs> decisions of your life. Uh huh. Okay. I really think that you should take some time and think about the choice that you want to make. Mm hmm With you... that being said, <laughs> you know one of those knuckle dusters that you picked up back in passage? Oh. Mm -hmm. I think you should give me one. <laughs> it's in Thorne's bag. <laughs> Thorne has everything! <laughs> Well, but yes, yeah, you can you can take one. You, you can yes. Ask. But I seriously think you should think about this whole decision thing. I'm not going to be here forever. Well, I'm going to be here probably a lot longer than you. And Freya's gone, <laughs> and it's good to rely on people for decision making and advice. But really, 
It's you that needs to be the one to make your decisions for yourself. Trust in your heart. Doesn't matter what Master Hazir wants. Doesn't matter what your parents want. What matters is the choice you make. As long as it's your choice. Not for anyone else, but for yourself. I'm gonna go find Thorn. <laughs> <laughs> you rushed and uh, you eventually. <laughs> we're like in the garden gardening. I'm teaching yeah. uh, Quivel how to like put the seed in the hole that I dig for him and just like cover it up. He puts it in and waits till you look away. And just... Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. No. <laughs> Come here. No. Yeah. <laughs> you. you look back and he's like eating all the seeds that you just planted. <laughs> Quibble, that's been... not how you make flowers. You have to plant them before I can make them grow. <laughs> I'll grow you some edible ones. It's fine. Star has been going behind Quibble replacing the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Thor's just like pushing the dirt over with her foot. It's like, stop it. <laughs> ah. Uses their toe, like the the, <laughs> the foot. It's like that ice age squirrel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's uh, cute. But you eventually find the two of them. Hey, uh, cool. <laughs> You're planting and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. That looks like fun. I need. It is fun. I do this with my friends at home all the time. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. I swear. I just <laughs> at a very important timeline, and I mm -hmm. need one of those. I need. I need the bag. I just need to open the bag and. Sure. Yeah, and it'll be like, uh, 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 uh. grab one. Ah, perfect. Thank you. And then I'm gonna run away. Have fun, Cardinay. <laughs> Star is fascinated yeah. by the dynamic happening here. I don't know why he only took one. We have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and you run back to Madame oh. Palm Tree. It goes to map, okay. clicks fast travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm button mashing like X or something. Come on, load yeah, screen, yeah. load screen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Uh, purchased for... Cool. Um, you make it back to Madame Palm Tree. I'll trade you. Uh, How much what? paper will you give me for this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. Yes. Oh my god. With advantage because it's, it's so badass. shiny and covered well, in it's, diamonds. Yeah, it's encrusted with diamonds and She's it's gold, right? <laughs> uh, I got the one that said king. Is this King Timmy? It says Booty uh, King. It says, uh, solid. Yeah, sure. No, it's no, King I, Timmy, I right? I can find it. I can find I say it. Timmy, uh, Timmy. Diamonds says, are inlaid in the shape of the name Timmy. I, I'm pretty sure it's T I, I M and then M Y. My. Parents you get like three Tim. M's. T I M M M Y. <laughs> yeah, let's. Yeah, keep let's. Talking, yeah. Keep talking. I'll find it. I'll yeah, find it. Yeah, T I M M M Y. Okay, no, uh, encrusted. Yeah, it must be Timmy. Okay, I'm gonna. I took the M M Y. M M Y. Yeah. Mm. Madam. Madam yours. Mm. Madam Mary the, yours. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, persuasion <gasps> is eight. Eight. Uh, Cecilia. You see, like, a woman kind of like, ah, oh, like, How much would you pay for this? She's kind of like, I don't know. Give you, I don't know, two boxes? 500 gold. Make it three. I'll give you two boxes. I'll give you two boxes and this on the house. <laughs> So that's 500 gold pieces worth of magic. If you haven't noticed, there. we don't really use a whole lot of gold in this city. Okay, so then what would you want for the three boxes? Uh, uh, um, what else you got? I have, I have tools. You can use my, my, no, you can't use my, I can use my body to help you accomplish tasks. I'm very resourceful. Right. Uh, I'm good at information, I'm good at finding information. I found you, didn't I? Alright, I mean, I, we, we just fought a vampire not two hours ago. Mind you, we lost. But we kind of 
beat his minion, but regardless, we can help you. Okay. Yeah. You want more people to use your product. Perhaps I could help you introduce it to another market outside of Terespin. Become a drug dealer. <laughs> okay, we can talk uh, long term, but uh, for now, um, Kirkley, uh, Emil Puyu, the uh, order master for the Mlastinia uh, 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 Druids, is um, the, the, considering revoking the rights of, of uh, trading and dealing uh, in, in uh, the botanicals that provide uh, existential existence. And, um, you know, he's ga getting some followers uh, around Fort Valen, and, um, you know, they may be pushing for the Otalans to not be producing such an amazing product. If he were to change his mind, um, we'll have a good deal. Can we do one and a half boxes up front, and upon completion of the task, the other, other one and a half? I happen to know his sister. Puyu, uh, does he have a sister in Liston? Or is that a common last name? Uh, he has a daughter who uh, used to work for um, the old headmaster of, of uh, Liston's school. The name escapes me. The something conservatory. The conservatory of something. The conservatory, it, I understand. The Salvatic Conservatory? Yes. Yes, yes. I mean, we've, I, I was, we were there not too long ago. Oh, I, yes, her, her father is a pain in my fucking ass. Sorry, repeat that. Uh, he's where? He's uh, Emil Puyu. I he's know who, the, but uh, where? He's the master of the Malastinia, and he resides um, within the uh, Drunken Marsh, uh, just north, uh, he travels in and out of Fort Valen. Fort Valen. Yeah. Ah, perfect. All right. Uh, how far is that from here? It's a ways. It's a couple couple weeks travel, I'd say. And how... I guess I'd have to come back in order to collect the what? other half of the deal. There, there is a meeting of the orders that will be occurring in, a, in, a, in a, about, a, about a week and a half here, so... He should already be on his way here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I want to kind of wring, wring his neck if I see him, so if you get to talk to him first, that'd be great. Yeah. If the motherfucker brings up uh, anything about, you know, my uh, palm tree at the meeting, you know. Okay. okay. Don't deal. kill him. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I wouldn't think about it. Right, yeah, you have such a trusting face, mask. Whatever. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this mask. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, I'll tell you again when I see you. I was getting ready. Okay. <laughs> Later. See you. And thank you. Wait! <clears throat> oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You're gonna give me two, and I guess... Okay, I'll, t I'll do it. That's a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You uh, leave Madame Palmtree's cornet. You guys eventually finish your gardening, engaging in the Ingridgerea, and you all reconvene. Yes. There's more. Oh, there's more. What would you like to do, Gillen? Um, I noticed that everybody left, and um, I kind of took the extra time just to rest. I'm a growing boy, you know. Mm -hmm. Limbs are stretching, my, my, my adult teeths are coming in. That probably happens early on. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how humans work. Um, but yeah, when I was so. when I was awakened by um, Cal, and he basically handed off this crazy deep <laughs> offering to me, and then asked for some money, and then uh, <laughs> I I sat there pondering and um, looked at Absher, and he's kind of still sleeping, and I know I know um, Madame May Lynn is upstairs. Oh. So I kind of like found like one of the middle floorish areas where maybe a, it's like a little fox's nest den. 
and I kind of go in, and the parent foxes have been wandering around, but the baby's there and looks up at me. I go, can, can I sit here? And he like curls back. I sit down there and I pull out the oculus stone. I think, I think I know the how this works now. Mom, Dad, they want me. I won't go to them. I'll come to the mountains with friends. Put it away. Kind of have to make a big decision right now. And I go walk to Taurus's estate or find it somehow. I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Find what? Uh, Taurus's uh, home. Taurus's home? Alone. As you like put away the rock and walk out of the house, <gasps> you hear Gilman? Uh, we're safe. Um, proud of you. How many? Words do I have left? <laughs> I love. Um, I'm just gonna prop myself up on the door. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit on the door and I'm just sit there, bliss, yeah. You guys already convene at Madame Island's. Find Gilwyn. Press I hand out the, the tincture. <laughs> one for you, one for you, one for you, one for Absher. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? That's gonna make us feel better. Okay. But we still need lots of rest. <laughs> it I mean, just drink it. Rancid. <laughs> swallow. You, you have to swallow it. There's a subtle for your lore. Hmm. <laughs> You guys down, do you all drink it? Yeah. yeah. You guys all down the... You just do like shooters. <laughs> oh yeah. Ginger shots. Uh, one of those pickle shots. Yeah. So, so you kind of, because Madame Eileen's is not too far, you can almost see Madame Tar Taurus's, Taurus, um, estate from there. Having a new friend join the party. That's what we're going to call tonight's session. Oh. Before we move on, it's already ten thirty. That was mm -hmm. a wow. That was a quick. That happened yeah. real fast. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That fight was too long. That fight yeah, too that long. was too long. No, yeah. that fight was I the best. It. Like no, that's that two so hours. I'm sorry, two hours long. Yeah, we're kicking some ass. That was though. two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, we were getting our ass. You know what? That's a little like pretty. D and D, baby. It's not that bad for a fight. <laughs> Time goes so fast. Uh, Thank you, Megan, for joining us. Yay! Episode eleven. Hopefully, next time we have Mark back. Mark, it's a booty back. We miss you.